Hello YouTube. Um, well, I have been watching a few videos on a particular subject and it's rather interesting so naturally I thought I'd do one of my own with my own take on it. Um, it's regarding this NASA warning, right? Um, now, basically, a few people that I kind of follow on YouTube have, um, um, you know, been talking about this NASA warning, this video from NASA. Now I'm going to link you to it in the description, um, rather than play you a clip on my video. Might as well just do that. Um, yeah, so they're talking, so NASA are talking about emergency preparedness, right? And uh, it's rather interesting. In fact, no, do you know what? I'm going to actually, I'm going to play some, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play the speech, right? Because there's a few things that are mentioned that kind of concern me. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute. Okay, but um, yeah, uh, so NASA are talking about emergency preparedness. Now, have they done that before? Well, not to my knowledge, have they? If they have, comment on this video and let me know. I didn't think they had. I thought that was FEMA's job. And um, maybe the, what's that, what's the name of that agency? You know, the one that's going on about the zombie apocalypse. Uh, forget now. But anyway, it'll come to me in a minute. Um, but yeah, there's various agencies, there's various organisations whose job it is is to, um, you know, talk about emergency preparedness but NASA well I don't know I, I don't think so I mean NASA they're, they're another kettle of fish aren't they I mean they do what they do um, I didn't think they got involved in this kind of thing so it's just kind of interesting okay um, and you know also I'm thinking about you know in the past I mean the CNN coverage on them um, whenever there's like a major earthquake who do they interview? Not a seismologist, but Michio Kaku, who's an astrophysicist. So it makes me wonder, are these things, are these events, are these events to do with things going on in space, right? Are they? The events that are taking place on the Earth at the moment are they related to something going on in space? That is my question. Okay, because like NASA are talking about preparing for emergencies that might happen on the Earth. Michio Kaku, okay, he's always being interviewed. So, um, what's that all about? What is that all about? Now, there's a few things that concern me in this, in this um, speech. Let me just get it here. Hang on one second. Um, let's just get this here now. You give me a few. Let's go for it. Man, it's just to talk to all of uh, all of you in our NASA family about emergency preparedness. Um, NASA recently participated in a FEMA exercise called Eagle Horizon that was a part of a continuity of operations and government exercise that we do annually. And I became aware of some things that concern me about our family preparedness, and I wanted to talk to you very briefly. You know, we in NASA, we're an incredibly unique organization. We're the only agency in the federal government that's responsible for the safety and well-being of people not only here on Earth, but uh, off this planet. Okay, now... I noticed some of the other people on YouTube, they were talking about um, what he said there about, you know, well-being of people not only here on Earth, but off this planet. Now, I think that he's talking about astronauts and cosmonauts who are up doing missions. Um, I think he's talking about them. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, maybe he's talking about extraterrestrials, who knows. <laughs> but I think not. So um, my experience in the astronaut office, uh, my experience as an active duty Marine, uh, always talk about the importance of family preparedness and to make sure that we had a viable family support program. And I have concerns that ours right now is not uh, as good as it ought to be. So what I'm asking all of you in the NASA family, whether you're out on the West Coast, here on the East Coast, along the Gulf Coast, uh, up on the, the, you know, the Great Lakes, 
think about the, the natural disasters that could occur in your area. Think about attacks that could come like 9-11 from outside forces. And okay, think about attacks that could come like 9-11 from outside sources. Now what's NASA got to do with um, terrorist attacks? You know, what does NASA know about terrorist attacks? You know, um, outside forces, I think that's a little hint. Could he be talking about an alien invasion? I don't know. I don't profess to know, but interesting. Talk to your family about your work and what they need to do to prepare for the unforeseen. Uh, develop a family preparedness plan in your house. Uh, have an emergency supply kit available. Most people who live along the, the, the Gulf Coast always have an emergency kit for hurricanes. I, I'm not sure whether people out on the West Coast think about uh, earthquakes and the like, but have an emergency supply kit at your home. Think about a family communications plan. Where are we going to meet if an emergency occurs and we're all over, the, all over town? Uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to call each other on the cell phone? Just think about those things. If you have pets, think about a pet preparedness plan. How are you going to make sure that they're taken? Sorry, just something I thought of there. He was talking about communication as well. Um, interestingly, I mean, NASA has already issued a warning that in 2012, there's going to be a massive solar storm that would probably knock out the power grid and we could do, be without power for months or years. Or weeks you know they don't know um, so that is an imminent thing that NASA are talking about in 2012 now um, you wouldn't be able to use your cell phone you, you wouldn't you, you the communication will be will be disabled so um, anyway so may, may, maybe he's talking with this solar storm in mind um, or maybe not when you're spread all over the place uh, and then if you have family members who have special needs, special needs for parents. The most important asset uh, for us to successfully complete our mission is that our people, our families mainly, are taken care of so that we can come to work and feel good that if an, if an emergency arises, our families are going to be taken care of. So I would ask you again, sit with your families, think about what you would do in an emergency situation. I hope that you'll embrace and support the Family Preparedness Program as we all get better prepared to deal with these emergencies. Know your stuff. You know, know what it is that you're going to do. Know what it is that you want your family to do if an emergency arises. But most of all, be prepared. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, you know, people are talking about uh, natural disasters and their changes that are going on these past few months and saying, oh, you know, there's nothing new, these things have always gone on and um, you know, it's just that maybe there's more um, seismic sensor sensors and there's, there's, it, it, the information is released in real time and you know, so it just looks as though there's more of them going on but they're not actually more of them going on but they've certainly um, stepped up all this uh, talk of preparedness, haven't they? Um, now, I can completely understand why everyone's jumped in the bandwagon with this um, in the sort of truth movement or whatever you want to call it and um, you know getting a little paranoid about this because you know obviously there's all this talk of um, uh, September, October, November these dates being you know significant um, with regards to Comet Elinin um, and people suspecting that Comet Elinin is not a comet but rather a brown dwarf star, a binary star um, getting closer and wreaking some havoc during those months and then YU55 is coming right at the same time as we pass through the tail of the Lenin um, and you know so there's there's all this stuff there's all this there's all this stuff that is is like around the corner and now NASA are issuing issuing a warning for preparedness so you put two and two together Okay, maybe you put two and two together and make five, or maybe you put two and two together and make four, you know? Um, you know, it is um, rather interesting. And uh, it, could, it could be some, you know, it, it, it could, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it just surprises me that, that NASA is talking about this, you know? Yeah, so I'm going to link you to that 
video on the NASA.gov website and um, you know watch other people's postings on this and, and get their uh, thoughts on it too because quite a few people are uh, talking about this. Okay.